anything for you. Now get back to work! Master, you saved them? No sense wasting good slaves. At least not until the Great Ring is completed and I've conquered the heart of infinity. You know the old saying. Today, Kandrakar, tomorrow, the universe. yourself. You all admitted you allowed Phobos to reconquer Meridian. Why? What's wrong? Big brain go boom? Mm, a headache. The pounding kind. Okay. It's time you knew the truth. You no, know, and It began too. weeks ago, when I realized that only an heir to the Meridian throne could take Nerissa's seal away from her, and that the only available heir was Prince Phobos. Here's the deal. We set you free with a full pardon on two conditions. One, you help us take the seal from Nerissa. And two, you swear to return its power to Elion and Cadma, not use it for yourself. There's no love lost between the sorceress and myself, and I do seem to have a bit of free time lately. No, my lord. That power is rightfully yours. You should not have to bargain for it or bind yourself an oath to these traitors. It is beneath you. Your concern is touching, Raythor, but this cell is also beneath me, and above me, and around me. Then swear on the power of Kandrakar, and I'll get you out of it. I swear on the power of Kandrakar not to use Nerissa's seal for myself. Satisfied? And you trusted him? So not! We knew exactly who we were dealing with. The guy who could defeat Nerissa, and the guy who would, without a doubt, betray his oath. And so dawns a new era. The Age of Phobos! So it wasn't exactly a shock when he made Meridian his first target. His own power, plus the elemental abilities of the old Guardians, all fueled by the hearts of Meridian and Zambala, made Phobos unstoppable. So secretly we yielded to his conquest. See, we wanted his victory to be as quick and painless as possible. So we only put up enough of a fight to keep him from suspecting our plan. Which is what exactly? The oath, Tynar. It's all about the oath. I think I see. It is essential to the Guardian's strategy that Phobos attack Kandrakar. You made Phobos swear on Kandrakar's power. Should he attack this world, even set foot here with hostile intent, he will mystically forfeit all the fruits of his broken vow. He'll lose all his power, and Elion, Cadma, and the others will be free. Their hearts returned. All the rules of permission magic have been obeyed. I believe you will succeed. But why keep us in the dark? We couldn't risk Phobos getting wind of the truth. The fewer keeping the secret, the better. We are sorry Meridian had to suffer again. But Phobos would never have attacked Kandrakar without first securing his own kingdom. Ugh! Mama no care about kingdoms! Caleb will protect Blunk. But who protects Caleb? Huh? Mama let her Blunky boo! <laughs> Blunk wants his mama! Silence before your master! Ah, the cream of rebel society. A bit curdled, it appears. My liege, 
Let me toss these worthless traitors into the Abyss of Shadows. The Abyss of Shadows is an elegant punishment. But Raythor himself proved that escape is possible. Agreed. You will have no loose ends this time. Eliminate them at dawn. Eliminate them. Eliminate them at dawn. We have to save them. You can't even save yourself. Thanks to you. Don't start with me, Queenlet. Yep, yep, yep. All night long. Bobos out there are stuck in here. And not likely to save anyone unless we act in harmony. You're stepping on my lines, kid. Because we're in harmony. Zip it! I've been trying to reach across the dimensions to Tarani, but all I've done is give the girl a bad headache. Caleb and Blunt's only hope is us pooling our power to fuel Halinor's telepathy. We need to sound a single clear note with no dissent. I will try. Caleb is my son. I will not allow Phobos to harm him. Yeah, your mother of the year. That, your highness, is, is not, not harmony. harmony. Stop that! The next move is Phobos's. Luba will contact us through the Aramirs at the first sign of his attack. And until then? We... wait. <laughs> Thankful for the calm before the storm. You mean the cram before the storm? We have final exams tomorrow. You've been studying for weeks. I bet that's why your head's screaming. Look at me. I haven't cracked a book and I feel fine. Yeah, and when your report card comes next week. Girlfriend, I live in the now. Well, now I'm hitting the books. Headache or no headache. It's like my head's gonna explode, and I'm so tired. The square roots equal to the root of the fractals meridian. Tarani! <gasps> Will, wake up! <gasps> now for the frogs! What? Huh? We need to fall to Meridian now. Caleb and Blanc are in danger. How do you know? Maybe I'm psychic. Just trust me. What about the others? No time. Besides, no sense in all of us flunking finals. Good point. Guardians, unite! Caleb awful calm. So Blanc be awful and calm too. Blanc face elimination with dignity and grace. See Blanc's dignity. See Blanc's grace. Look, just try to get some sleep. <laughs> Why bother? After tomorrow, you'll be asleep for good. <laughs> Quintessence. You hear that? Frost Tracker to the right! Gargoyle Sandpit to the left! Check the whole prison if you have to! Move! That just leaves Raythor. Thought it was you. And so did my boys. <gasps> Side? Who said? Blanc side? Or elimination side? What about Frost and Tracker? Couldn't risk approaching them. Tracker's pure evil, and Frost's a brute. <laughs> no offense, mate. Hurry! They'll be back any second. Brainy girl on Raythor's side? Oh, Blanc too confused to eliminate. Just stand back. <laughs> What happened to the Abyss of Shadows plan? Phobos and Cedric remembered I knew an escape route. Do they suspect you? No, but I'd have blown my cover saving these two tomorrow. It's good you showed up. Uh, why did you show up? Do not look at me. Blunk, no, this is trick. Blunk does not know who's trick. Raythor, we found nothing. Better make it look good. Blank's 
safer in cell! Sorry, Phobo stole your Tonga tooth, Blunk, but this will take you to Kandrakar, where somebody's mama will be very excited to see your Blunky Boo. No! Blunky Boo go nowhere till Blunky Boo know what's going on! You not trust Blunk? It's not that. But if the Phobos plan was on a need-to-know basis... Then the Raythor twist was even needier to know you. Before Caleb and I approached Phobos, we sent a messenger ahead. An invisible messenger. Does Phobos really deserve your loyalty? Who's that? Who's there? Shh. I'll tell if you swear not to let anyone know I'm here. I swear. Then I know I can trust you. It's Hei Lin, one of the Guardians. Come to gloat, have you? No. Come to ask why you're still loyal to a prince who had you thrown into the Abyss of Shadows. I made a vow to serve him, and I always keep my vows. Even if he doesn't keep his? He does. One, you help us take the seal from Nerissa. And two, you swear to return its power to Elion and Cadma, not use it for yourself. No, my lord. That power is rightfully yours. You should not have to bargain for it or bind yourself an oath to these traitors. It is beneath you. I swear on the power of Kandrakar not to use Nerissa's seal for myself. Satisfied? Well, I guess we'll find out. We found out, all right. Phobos took the seal and kept it. Good thing he's predictable. We sent Halen back to Raythor just in time. The prince would never break his vow. Don't take my word for it. Loyal followers. Your masters made fools of the Guardians, taking the power he so richly deserves. Join him. Serve him. Bow down to Phobos. You see, his vow meant nothing. He isn't worthy of your service. Help those who are. He has no honor. No honor at all. He has forfeited my service. I stand with you, Guardian. So swears Raythor. Raythor's a man of his word. He's been our double agent. Even convinced Phobos to do exactly what we wanted. With due respect, my liege, why trifle with Zambala when you can conquer Kandrakar itself? Crush the heart of infinity, and every world will fall. We don't need DVR to keep up. Welcome to our world. And on our world, we have finals tomorrow morning. Later. <laughs> Blunk just glad tomorrow not his final morning. <sighs> My liege, we have failed you. It was the Guardians. They attacked with no warning. The Guardians? <sighs> Never mind. Once I've taken Kandrakar, the Guardians will be powerless, literally, and groveling at my feet. Maybe if I groveled, they'd let me take the makeup exams next week? No time to cram, no sleep, no morning review. My head's still throbbing like it's full of static. I can't concentrate. I might even get a uh, B. Come on, you got all your subjects wired. Just let the knowledge flow. Yield to the learning. Uh, thank you, Miss Straight C Average. Hey, I got no learning to yield to. But trust me, this'll work for you. Yield to the learning. Yield to the learning. Man, that was brutal. I'll need all winter break to recover. Whew. Nerissa is nothing compared to that trig final. And again, the trig final never tried to conquer the universe. Guys! Tarani, how'd you... 
Don't do! I yielded to the learning, and it worked. I totally aced my exams. I know it. Ugh, guess your headache's gone, too. Yeah, and I know what caused it. I was yielding, you know, and I could hear them. These voices, they're trying to reach me telepathically. Now, if only they'd all stop talking at the same time. This ain't working. We need to speak with one voice. I volunteer. Uh, not so much. Elian, you're her friend. We'll put ourselves in harmony with you. I'll try. Tarani, can you hear me? Tarani, it's Elian. Oh my gosh, Elian, I hear you. Elian is talking to you? What's she saying? Comforts us in. No, no, too many voices. Shh. Let me concentrate. They're all together in the heart of Meridian. Elion, Cassidy, Halinor, Cadma, Yen, Lin, even Nerissa, and... What? For real? What? Is Grandma okay? Who better than okay. Good, really good, as in she never turned evil. Yan Lin was the only one who resisted corruption. Nerissa had to make an altimere to fight us, but even she's good now, and they're both trapped with the others in Phobos' scepter. I knew Grandma could never betray us. I knew it. Tarani, listen. Phobos is about to attack Kandrakar. He'll be there any minute. Guys, it's time. It is time. Non-combatants hang back. The rest of you put on a good show until Phobos makes his entrance. Oh, Blocky Boo, be careful! Blocky Boo, be careful! If Blocky Boo could breathe! <laughs> <laughs> to not getting pounded. Yeah, but not everyone's play acting. Master, why dirty your hands? Let your minions fight, so your highness may enter a conquered Kandrakar in triumph. <clears throat> Wouldn't the prince prefer to crush the guardians under his own heel? The prince would prefer to sit back and enjoy the show. Give me permission to take but a fraction of your power, and I will personally bring you victory. Then a fraction of my power you shall have. What's the deal, yo? Why won't Phobos attack? Doesn't want to muss his hair. We'll have to lose the battle to win the war. That may not be too hard. Mama! Hassling oh, meat. Beastie will not want Blanc. Blanc way past expiration date. Please! Somebody help! Drama Queen! Too cartoony! You know, wailing on each other really was more fun. No argument. Matt!
Kendra Carr is yours. <laughs> Kneel before your prince. He gave permission for a fraction of his power. I choose three-thirds, maybe four-fourths. In other words, all of it! <laughs> it was an excellent plan, Guardian. Trick the vain, glorious fool into breaking his vow. But now the power is mine. And I made no such vow. Meridian is mine. Kandragar is mine. The universe will soon be in mine. <laughs> <laughs>